turn down the complete mountain, you know, at least probably halfway of the mountain, taking up to four or five hundred feet of the mountain and, and just hauling it off into the valleys. And uh, it just leaves a wasteland that's not fit for anything but rattlesnakes. A lot of times when I, me and mom go out and come back and I come up this road, particularly after dark, and just see how eerie that it is. You know, it makes you feel sad, yeah, you know. My mother's sister is in remission. She has cancer. My mother's <coughs> brother died of cancer. My godmother who lives across the street also passed away and she died of cancer. My mother passed away in 2003 from lung cancer. My mom was a healthy person. She was a nurse. I'm sorry. If you circle around in this community, you'll see um, a lot of people on oxygen, cancer, but well, all of us are affected by the cold, by the fumes. Here's my five-year-old granddaughter who has it ever since she was two. I have a grandbaby that's one and an infant that has asthma that needs to be on a nebulizer. Watching my kids not being able to breathe is hard because it can kill you. Unbelievable stuff that was coming off the hills. I mean, this whole area, probably three square miles where the power plant is, the ponds is, and the ash dome. It was like a monstrous plume of this gray stuff just blowing everywhere. It seems to be, unfortunately, the norm that a lot of people die too soon and too young. Where do people's diseases come from? You know, exposure to these elements. Why can't he, you know, breathe better? It just makes me wonder, will I be here? My lungs, you know, if they don't hold up. I want to be here for my son.